You know, it's hard not to believe in destiny sometimes, especially at the end of the story. Today's episode is a recommendation video that just had to be made. Fate had predicted it. I really wanted to go to the Cherry Festival in Custom Dill, but I'd left it a little bit late and there was not many places to find to book a place to stay. Luckily, a new friend who said he would show me around the festival recommended a place that was just 25 minutes drive from the center of Custom Dill. He sent me some pictures and it was the typical kind of place that we like to stay. But we was never gonna guess what kind of story was about to unfold. Custom Dill is usually known for the Cherry Festival. Actually, it's not that famous as I came to realize when I shared my experiences on the social media. It's gonna be a link for that video of the three day Cherry Festival at the end of this one. The region has got a lot more to offer just than this short weekend at the end of June and I'm going to show you them things during this video as well. So now I'm placed where we stayed in the village of Rajdavitsa. So I think this is it. We finally arrived. This very nice is best. This is super nice. Check that. It's like today is the day of uh, ring the, the bells. bells. <laughs> Hi. So I think we have a reservation with you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. How's it going? Good. Andre. Nice, nice to meet you. Petya. Hi, Petya. Your house is very really beautiful. Let Check. me show you my house. Please. Welcome. Please. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You could see that Andre and Sylvia were very proud of the place they had made rightfully so. They'd pushed themselves that in two years they breathed a new life into this old property and renovated it to an amazing standard but still keeping the old feel there. If you follow my videos on my channel you'll know that I love to promote these small businesses exactly like this and I'm so happy when I can show these kind of places that definitely deserve the attention. Though now is where I call on you. You can help me out by hitting that like button and making a comment underneath because this will help with spreading the video to other people. Also, you can also share this video onto your social media. But don't do that just yet. I'll remind you later in the video. Here, yes. nice three double rooms and one small apartment. This is the blue room. We call the blue room. Oh. And also the, With the eye of the Fatima. Fatima. Let's go to Typical Bulgarian. <laughs> How's Balkan? Can I say Balkan? Balkan style. Even Balkan style. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. It's super Ooh. nice. With, uh, it's kind of seaside. Toilet. That's what yeah. the, 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 the look you want for here. Seaside. seaside. You can distinguish uh, as well also the, the sofa. Uh -huh. So for two kids, no problem too. I see mm -hmm. Santorini. The so, idea yeah. of Santorini. Yeah, yeah. Five euro coffee in Santorini. Thank you. <laughs> I have you can start from to Bosnia, come. from Turkey, from Greece, yeah. from Bulgaria, so it's a mix. from Albania. Uh, Balkan, Balkan. <laughs> Balkan style. Balkan style. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah. This village is a great spot with all the amazing nature around and very close to Sofia that you can access even by train to and from via Custom Dill if you wish. Later on, I came to realize all the things you can do in Custom Dill with the culture, the art scene, all this beautiful nature around, the historical value of the place. And I loved it so much that we're even planning to go back at the end of summertime. And then I'm gonna do another video for you of all the things you can do in the region of Custom Dill. For this, you should hit that subscription button and also hit the bell for notifications. But you know these notifications, they don't always work on YouTube. Why you don't send me an email at a taste of bg at gmail.com and I'll put you on my mailing list. As soon as we release a video, I will send you a mail. Aha, this is kind of the uh, kitchen, yeah? Not kitchen, it's like a, uh, how to say, is a meeting room. Uh, meeting room. Yes, yeah. okay, nice, yeah. Pleasure room. Pleasure room. Yeah. Chill out room. Yeah, chill out. <laughs> you can see the stuff, original stuff, copper, ah. more than 100 years. So the radio is 1932, Black Punk, original Black Punk, general one. Nice. <laughs> that is retro. Yeah. Retro. Most of the things are made by hand. Very good. You have here everything. 
what is necessary for one normal family. To live normally. Also yeah. the original mm -hmm. chess. They are very popular here in this area. Yeah. Brides in the past, they kept all the stuff. Yes. When for the wedding. Ah. Inside. Yeah, inside. And right. They have wedding party yep. and after that with the stuff and chess. It goes. Go in your home. <laughs> <laughs> So when we first arrived, we asked about this beautiful chopping board and the guy told us that a local guy is making these. So yesterday we went down to have a look what we could find down there. He's a great for Just this is from more work, sir. He said chestnut. chestnut. No, but it's not chestnut. <clears throat> he didn't translate correct. This is a walnut. Walnut. Yeah. Aha, it's, 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 walnut tree. Mm -hmm. He showed us probably six, seven, and better that he did that because I was super confused. And this is my favorite one, even if it's without any pattern. Maybe. Pattern, but because there are these two spots, <laughs> they're oily. Really... <gasps> this one. Amazing. Amazing. You know how expensive is this? There are people that are selling this around. When is this? Uh, I remember in Stara Zagora they were selling things like, this. things like that and they are super expensive. Yeah. But not here. This guy is... He's doing it for an amazing price. These are great for your home when you've got guests or if you want to give us a present. This is an amazing present. Yeah. Like I said, you can also get these bigger ones like this. Yeah. We just don't have such a big table. No. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> super cute. What's it on here? Clip to the super nice. So, if you want to own one of these yourself, they're an amazing price. Contact me on a taste of bull, a taste of BG at gmail.com and we'll give you the contact for these guys so you can contact them directly. If you live in Bulgaria, they'll be able to get sent to you via Econt or oh, Speedy. Speedy yeah. Internationally, I'm sure there's a way you can do it if you're out of Bulgaria. But the price of this, you're gonna be so amazed for something handmade. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it. Times cheaper of what they're selling on the on the on markets. The tourist yeah. markets. On the tourist like markets, that. exactly. So contact me. We'll get you in contact with them directly, and you can order one for yourself. I think this also is made by him because all the wood. They said was that they had in the house here was done by this guy. Uh -huh. Actually, with his wife, they are both carpenter. Carpenters? Carpenters. Okay. See here the previous. Oh, oh, this is how the house was before. How it was before. And how you have made it. The now. stone house. Barbecue place. Yes. You can see how was it. We start from yeah. even, even below the zero. Below the zero, yeah. <laughs> You've done an amazing job. But even though the house was it's beauty. Yes. Let's go up. Yes. Also, typical stairs, wooden. Yeah. And this balcony we call Chardak here. Yeah. Chardak. Chardak. Which is uh, mm. Balkan, I don't know, uh, Proto Bulgarian or maybe Turkish, maybe Greek. But all, all the Balkan area they call Chardak. Aha, they call the terrace exactly. Chardak. This, this wooden. This balcony. wooden balcony is called Chardak. Oh, ah, it was Chardak yes. Nice little view over to the mountains there as well. Look at that. Sit here with the coffee in the morning. Oh, breathtaking. Let's start with uh, this is the, let's call uh, small apartment. Small apartment. Yeah. Like a penthouse. <laughs> this is your penthouse, yeah? With Very nice. Oh, it's got like wood, another little room there, yeah? Yeah, it's a rather room. It's really nice. Heating, air conditioning, and the, the wooden. Wooden stuff is original. Still, yeah, going. Wood is throughout the house. This is the theme of the house. All yeah, furniture, furniture is wood. Yeah. Especially the doors. You can see the mechanisms. Uh -huh. They are still operating after so many years. So many years. Yeah. That's very good. <laughs> it's uh, the toilet. Important thing. Yes. Most people like to see for it to be clean. And this place is super clean. I mean, I've I've been to some four or five star hotels that are not as clean as this. You know. Really, really, this uh, little bit smelling nice with expensive aroma with uh, nice cleaning, with yeah, everything. This is what people want, yeah, 
exactly. this is what the people the people this will pay our, for this uh, motto yeah your motto. motto exactly andre and sylvia were absolutely amazing hosts i cannot recommend them enough they were so amazing they made us feel like part of the family and this is exactly the kind of thing that you want to have when you're in a guest house and if you go to stay with them i can guarantee you're not going to regret it i'm going to link their facebook down in the video description you can check it out or you can send me a mail at a taste of bg gmail.com and i will send you the direct link to them as well we call this the sunny room the sunny room because it's really sunny right it's really there. bright it's bright, bright yeah and it's sunny you can see here a nice wooden oh, yes wooden door all the floors are wooden uh as well. steam iron steam iron yeah, yeah. steam iron yeah. using coals in the past uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And sewing machine. Sewing machine, there, yeah. German one wow. with the label. Yeah. Still with label. Junker. Uh, Junker, uh, German. Yeah. German, German made German in brand. Karlsruhe, Germany. Uh, yeah. And you've turned that into kind of a shelf. All this Kirby style made by hand. Yeah. Very bio. 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 Ah, with bio, bio products. Not pro project, nothing. No concrete, no steel, nothing. It's a bio project. That's why we kept this idea yeah to have something what is really good for living sustainable living yeah, sustainable living so also, i guess we're gonna take this room then i think we like the sunny room yeah, uh, sunny room also this you can see the suitcase yeah, there yeah nice touch i like <laughs> this little nice touches that you have all yeah, around the bathroom it's quite big, big the it's bigger also, one uh, this is for chicken for chicken right, right. small chickens yeah. to carry the chickens yeah. around carriage yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, another super clean bathroom. This one's a nice size as well. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to take this room. I hope to have a really nice time here. Yes, I'm sure I'm going to do. Pleasure. Thank uh, you. Thank, thank you. you. Pleasure's mine. Also, don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, you can support it by hitting me a special thanks down there, just down there. And also, if you want to join our membership to get some extra perks, then you just press the join button on the other side. And now is the time also to share the video. Try to share it to your social media or to other friends that might want to visit the place so we can spread the awareness of these small businesses that really deserve it. And if you've not seen that video of the Cherry Festival yet, then I suggest you pick this video. You're going to love it. See you over there.